And I, ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. So I'm sure you guys have seen all about this brand, Oma Beauty, that's been all over Trend Mood, all over Twitter, all over Instagram. It is a new brand founded and started by a Nigerian queen, specifically from the Igbo tribe. And when I first heard about this brand, I actually didn't realize it was like culturally influenced and inspired until come to find out, I go on the brand's page and I found out who the owner is, not only a black woman, but she's a Nigerian woman. And that made me just 10 10 times more excited about this brand. This video is done in partnership with Oma Beauty. Thank you, shout out to you. This camera equipment is not cheap. So today I'm gonna to be incorporating some of their products into this video. This is definitely a brand that I've been getting lots of questions about and lots of requests for. So if you've been wondering and inquiring, you come to the right place. I'm gonna be demoing their eyeshadow palette, their lippy sticks, and their concealers, which are freakingbomb.com. I've already tried them. Just, just get that through your head. That's next case your honor today i'm also going to be recreating a makeup look inspired by the jasmine masters now if you don't know who jasmine masters is i'm not really sure either i just know that she's hilarious i believe she does drag but every time i see her on my timeline on twitter i just laugh like i just genuinely enjoy her content her videos her personality but she really started to pick up traction when this video clip went viral and i oh and I, ooh. and yeah, Alyssa Ashley called me last night and was like, you have the personality to do this. You have to recreate this makeup look. And I actually was like, you know what? Actually that makeup is kind of fire. Like that is kind of something that I would wear. So I grabbed the closest bob wig that I have. She is asymmetrical. So it's not quite a Jasmine's look and there is no fringe. That's cool though, it's close enough. Got the same length on this side. Jasmine was doing a video basically talking about friends who go out in public. It was very relatable content. Friends who go out in public, don't have no money, basically wanna drink their you know what's off, don't have no whereabouts of getting home, don't know what the hell their life is gonna be reduced to in the next two hours. Like they just they just go out, have fun, willy dilly, and just leave themselves stranded, you know? So I found myself really relating to this content, but also not really, cause I'm definitely not the friend that does that. Like I always have all of my P's and Q's lined up, but I could understand how sometimes, you know, life just comes at you fast, you know? Jasmine does have, you know, testes. So I guess she had shifted one way and hence the, the ever so iconic reaction we all know and use lovingly. So I'm gonna be recreating the makeup in that video because it's cute, it's a mood, it's a vibe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Y'all know Alyssa Ashley gave me the idea for this video, right? She's so shady. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. She was just saying, you got the personality for this. You have to do this. And I was like, yeah, you right. You right, I do. So we're just hydro gripping it up for our foundation. Love this primer. Phenomenal, phenomenal woman. That is Hydro Grip. And then for foundation, I'm gonna take my minted foundation sticks m10 which are awesome so i got to go to the oma launch last week it was fire it was fire honestly when it comes to beauty events i'm used to being outnumbered nothing wrong with that but also like people like being around people that have things in common with them so it was like all nigeria everything burner boy performed ty savage performed dj spin all dj like it was just an incredible night of like african excellence at the entire event and i'm not used to that here in la like that's something that i would expect in new york or like when i'm in nigeria it was just Nice to see it in my own, in my own hotel. Like I, I felt like I was just dying. I was just dying. I was going through it. Okay, all the motions. So M20, I use around my jaw area. It goes a little bit darker there. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's not like I'm saying I just want to be around only African people all the time. That's not even close to what I'm saying. But I'm just saying it felt nice to just like be around your people and your culture. That's important. So anyway, the brand just launched. They're available at omabeauty.com. The U is silent, by the way. It's spelled U O M A, but it's. Oma, Oma Beauty. And it's available on the website, omabeauty.com. And it's also coming to Ulta, which by the time this video goes live, it will probably have already launched. But it launches in Ulta May 5th. Did we get to May? Like, I'm just so many things to battle internally. Add the fact that this year is going by so fast. Ooh, dang, I forgot my skin tone blur. I wanted to mix that in with the foundation. It's cool, it's not too late. It's cool, it's cool. We can make it work, sis. This I'm just doing so she gets a little bit more matte, just a little bit more dewy. The stick foundation, it's okay though. So with skin tone blur, I'm kind of using that as like a halo all over this formula. And by the way, Oma means beautiful in Igbo. Fun fact, it's one of the many hundreds of languages 
in Nigeria. Sometimes I get people that are like, can you speak Nigerian? And I'm like, that's not a language. But I don't blame you because people don't learn these things. Like Igbo is one of the languages. I am not a part of the Igbo tribe. I'm actually part of the Yoruba tribe, but I accept and acknowledge all as family says, there's no tribe wars over here. Like I get down with everybody. But be coming up in my comments, trying to rep your set, sis. About to get real dark, real fast. This concealer will end world wars. This is their woke concealer. I do like the name. I do quite like that branding and that idea. So I have three colors. I'm gonna start off with the one that's a little bit darker and a little bit more red. Wait a minute, they're both called brown sugar. I'm confused. One of them is T3 and T4. I'm just gonna use T4 first. And the applicator is heaven. Look how thick she is, look how thick. Like you just torn with my emotions. It just makes getting under those crevices and applying a lot of product really easy. You can just go doop and I'm gonna blend this out. This is just how I get a little bit of flawless coverage. And you know, I notice that most of the time because you talk a lot, especially me, I talk a hell of a lot. Y'all love reminding me that in the comments. This is where makeup tends to break down the quickest, like around my smile lines and stuff. So, you know, just a little extra security blanket. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Speaking of which, I wanna talk about, I don't think I've ever been in a situation that Jasmine was talking about, about friends that just, just the friend that nobody can rely on. You know they forgot their wallet at home. I don't know if I've been in a situation like that, if I've had a, a friend who regularly does that, but I have had some friends do me dirty with money, that's for sure. And you know what? Little random life lesson we're just gonna sneak into the video. Never lend money and you can't afford to never see again, okay? If $200 would be a struggle for you and your friend is asking about $200, you have it and you can do it, but you know it would hurt, don't lend it, don't do it, walk away. Now, if you can comfortably do $50 and you never saw the money again and you'd be not happy about it, but you'd be okay, right? Then do it. If it's a friend who's helped you before, if it's a friend that you can actually, you know, call a friend, maybe the situation is a little suspect, you know, hey, I truly believe that God rewards people that don't always do things for their own benefit. Sometimes they do it just because someone helped me, so I'm gonna do the same to someone else, you know? But anyway, that's what that story reminded me of. Sometimes in life, you're just gonna get screwed over by your so-called friends, by your so-called kin. All skin folk ain't your kin folk, that's for sure. That's one thing I've definitely learned. As you can see, I already look 70% less tired than I did when I first started this video and I'm not even done concealing yet. I just feel like it looks better when I stay immediately in the under baggage claim this is baggage claim. This down here is where the Ubers come to pick people up. We don't need to put the concealer down that far. At least I don't. I always find that I end up blending the extra down anyway. So like, what's the point in slathering on all that product? If I was still wearing just one concealer by itself, I probably would not be doing that. I'd still be blending it all the way down into the Uber pickup zone, but it's a different Jackie. We have grown and developed into different things now. I contoured with D40 from Minted because Miss Jasmine was quite sculpted. Then again, that could be natural. Only God knows. I'm doing the <laughs> absolute most to go pick up my one-year-old niece to be babysitting this evening, but it's cool. She's just gonna take me, take me how I am. I'm done blending. I'm gonna set it with powder now. This is in the shade Plantain from Beauty Bakery. I just wanted you to know I've loved you better than your own kin did. I'm a very sad. I don't blame your man for wanting to be free. I just wanted you to know. For my brows, I think I'm going to the red. It's not something I normally do, but sometimes I like to do that when I wanna. Red sometimes will make my brows look a little bit brighter, like if I slightly bleach them. So let's go in. Let's go stupid, ah, go crazy, ah. And then using Strut from MAC, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that red. Hopefully it does what I think it's gonna do. Hopefully this trick still works the same. Oh yes, oh yes. It is red, it is red. Little red covet. Yeah, she's going there. She's definitely going there. I remember when MAC brow pencils were the only thing I had to rely on. Whoo, wow, have times changed. Why don't I do this more often? This actually looks fire. A little bit of going this way for eyeshadow base. I found these cool bronzers from a brand called Prime Beauty. I believe these have also been kind of floating around all over Twitter. They got some cute colors. By the way, shout out to everybody that came and saw me speak at Essence Beauty Carnival last weekend. Fire. Essence family is not to be touched. Like every Essence event I've done has been just phenomenal. The energy there is great. The people that I meet are freaking amazing. And I think it's just a combination of like Essence events, 
plus being in New York. Like it's the perfect chaotic mesh of awesomeness, but I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time. I really enjoyed speaking. Thank you everybody who came and saw me speak. It was incredible. So anyway, someone that came to my meetup didn't give these bronzers to me, they gave them to Dennis. And I was like, oh, I've heard of this brand. So thank you. Shout out to Prime Beauty for not only coming to see me, but also giving me the inside scoop into your bronzers. Cause I've actually been meaning to try them. So the color that I have is, oh, they're called bronzers, by the way. <laughs> In case you didn't get it the first time, get it right. Respect the namesake. Um, so the bronzers that I'm gonna use are Bronzeville and Chocolate Liddy. As you can see, these are both very bronze-tastic colors. I'm gonna use a combination of both of them. Well, let's just see what Bronzeville is saying first. Ooh, small but mighty. I expected her to be a little bit lighter than what she was. Like I was expecting to mix these two. This one will be way too dark, putting that one to the side for later. Um, This color is perfect. This color is actually perfect. And these are insanely pigmented. Wow, 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 this is good. Yeah, this is great, this is good. Uh, if my lace could just stab snitching on me, can you just not make fun of the process? I'm still getting ready, thank you. That looks great, dude, that looks really good. This looks really good. And she's blending out nice too. Ooh, she's blending out real nice. I'm just gonna do some detailing, just some little fine detailing. Okay, those were amazing. Let's move on to the eyes. Jasmine's eyes are very dark, and I do realize it's 2 p.m., but that's fine, we're gonna work around that. What better way to top off this red brow than by using Auburn Brow Gel from ABH? These are fire. I don't know why. I just felt like making my brows red. Don't ask questions. Question the Lord, not me. This is the Black Magic palette. It's not my first time using it, but I'm gonna be using it today. The color story in this palette is Poise. So I think they have three introductory palettes, or I think there's four. This is just one of them. It's got like blues and burgundies. It's actually a good like night palette. You know how you have an everyday palette with like neutrals and golds and rose golds? This is what I would call it every night. You can get every night's use out of this palette. So the first color I'm gonna take is Poise, which is this darkened, Actually, you know what? Let's let's get into Ms. Master's detailed look. We're gonna go into Mother, which is a little bit of a warm, no, no, ignore me, we're gonna do poise. So these palettes are said to be water resistant. I don't know how that's possible, but that's what they say. I don't make the rules, I'm just here to report them, okay? They're paraben free and fragrance free, and this is a cruelty free brand. Now because the poise, even on my complexion, is so dark, we definitely don't wanna go in with too much color. We're just gonna start small and then build our way up. It can be a little intimidating, so don't be creeping up on her unannounced. So as far as the undertone goes, Poise is doing exactly what I want it to do. It's very ashy and it's not too dark, but it's like, it's just perfect. It's doing exactly what I wanted to do. However, I do need a little bit more purple because Jasmine's look, I mean, the camera quality is not that great, but uh, it almost looks like she maybe recorded it on a phone, but I do see a little bit of purple. So I'm gonna jump in this MAC palette that I have and just borrow, borrow a little bit of these deep mauve shades because from what I see, from what I see in the video, it definitely looks a little purpley in the eyes, a little shiny, shiny. Oh, this quality is not that great. It's MAC, definitely a darker look. So you gotta make sure every step is blended out. And even when you think you're done blending, you're not, sit down. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but I'm gonna take this skin tone shade, perfect transition color, like the perfect transition color, just around the edges so everything looks a little bit more. I have a sort of bruised purple eyeliner. It's called a Rockstar from Urban Decay. We're gonna pop that into our waterline and blend her onto my lid. And it really didn't take much of that color to black out my whole lid. And as we move up, we're gonna start blending, or not blending, but like just softening, 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 softening. This look used to be everything in the early 2000s, sis. Oh my God, what? We're not gonna add any more color. We're just gonna go blend out around our crease area. What the, what the hell was on this brush? I didn't put glitter on my eyes. Now we also wanna blend that color along our bottom lash line. It's gonna get very intense, very quickly. So I think we can all mutually agree, Ms. Master's lashes in this look are huge. 
In fact, probably the biggest pair of lashes I've ever seen. I'm not even exaggerating. So I knew this would be a job for Camisol. This is from the Triple Push Up Collection from Kiss. And yeah, I mean, do do I even have to exp It's It's huge. It's perfect. I normally wouldn't do a lash like this because I know you guys don't like when I do a thick, thick three foot layer lash because it like takes away from the eye look but this eye look is so monochrome that like there's no detail you're missing anyway you know and it's perfect because it actually fits the look now that we've channeled some big lash energy let's go into blush she's not really wearing highlights so i'm gonna take my cover effects palette i really like this palette it is the perfecter face palette in medium deep and there's just like a fun contour color in here there's a contour color in here got all kind of doodads and gadgets whatever you people in the midwest and south would call a palette such as this but i'm gonna take this mauve matte blush here on the end and add some flush to my cheeks. I notice if I put too much of this blush, it can go muddy. So I'm gonna tread lightly. And a little tip though, if you over apply blush, just go over it with translucent powder. It'll soften it right up. A Little bit of Smashbox Primer Water. This is the Photo Finish Aura Shield. Just came out with their new collection. I don't know what makes this one unique or special. Maybe it's a different scent. Don't ask me, I don't know. We're just gonna conquer the face with that i'm satisfied yeah looks great feels great as for the lips the standout product for me from the oma launch is not only the concealers because the concealers are hot fire but the lipsticks are freaking incredible. There's a quote on them. It says, a badass does not talk about being a badass. And you know what? I felt that. The packaging of these lipsticks look really good on display in my beauty room right now. You can't see it because it's over there. But here's what the lipstick looks like. Just focus, that'd be good if you could just, yeah, you don't feel, okay. Clocking out early. All right, there we go. This is what the lipstick looks like. Probably can't see it, but there's like, raised the logo it says oma here but it's just like raised in white it just looks really clean and really good oh my god i just realized that the lipsticks are all inspired by like iconic women in history so the color that i'm gonna use today is called coretta and i'm assuming that's coretta scott king i love this even more i really do it's just like so much imagery and like homage to women and black women at that which is incredible there's 16 shades of these and they're infused with mango mango butter I don't like mango. You know what mango butter I can do and if it's in my lipsticks, it's even more tolerable, that's fine. They're very hydrating. I actually, for the first time, I actually wore the hot fuchsia pink color to the event and I was shocked at how, at how good the lipstick was. Didn't have to reapply, didn't have to touch up. It was just bomb. Like, let me show you, let me show you. So Coretta looks like this. You saw that one swipe, right? I rest my case. First, I'm gonna line my lips with Dahlia from ColourPop. Because Ms. Master's lips are definitely heavily lined. And then jumping into Coretta. Oh, by the way, it says badass inside. Where is it? There we go. New open lipstick. Just little, just little details. I love it. Also, the Oma print is embedded in the lipstick. So as you rotate it, it says Oma all on the sides. And with Coretta, we are gonna go right in. Ugh. It's so buttery. I didn't mean to make magic happen. It was just accidental. That's a fire lip combo. Jasmine's lips are very glossy. Oma does carry glosses, but none of them, like all of them are like bold oranges and pinks and purples. And I needed something that was a little bit more nude and milky for this look, obviously to match Jasmine's. I grabbed Kristen Dominique's MAC lip gloss, which is very pink and it's pretty milky. It's exactly what we need. There were lots of gray purple tones in this look. So, so the lip kind of, Brings it all together. Back seat for a couple of hours. And I, ooh! And I, ooh! And I, ooh! And I, oh, so that's the end of the video. Shout out again to Oma for sponsoring today's video. I've been just in awe and like honored to be here from the ground up seeing this brand start and hopefully get all of the traction that I think it deserves because the products actually are really good. I know it's exciting when a new brand comes out and you want to get everything. Maybe you're kind of balling on a budget. That's fine. If there's anything you should try, it should definitely be the Woke Concealers. The Woke Concealers are amazing. Let's say you're not looking for new concealers. Fine, okay, all right, I'm not the boss. The lipsticks are definitely the next best thing. I mean, to me, they're both on the same level of awesomeness, but like, but not everyone is as concealer obsessed as I am. Some people can live without that. So that's just my suggestion. I'm sticking to it. Shout out to Miss Jasmine Masters for this iconic look. I wanna see more of her on my timeline in 2019. That's the truth. That is the gospel. I'll just sit back and let you click the next video.
So you know you ain't got nothing else to do. I'll just sit here and wait. I'll wait. I don't know where the hell you think you're going. The next video is here. Your next activity for the day is here. Don't try me. Okay? Don't try me.